Hey Huskies, welcome to section 2.6. This section is on the concavity of a function. And so we have three main objectives today. Uh, number one, we're going to be able to define concavity with rates of change. Uh, number two, identify concavity with increasing and decreasing functions. And three, identify concavity from a graph of a function. Now, concavity I think of as is thinking about filling up a cup. Um, if you can pour something into the cup, it's going to be concave up. If you're going to pour something into it and it splashes off the side like it would like this, it's going to be concave down. So we think about filling up a cup. Concavity really relates to the rate of change or the slope. And if we have a slope that is increasing, we're going to have something that's going to be concave up. And when a slope is decreasing, we're going to be concave down. And we'll see some pictures of that coming up. So uh, concavity and rates of change are first example. So we have this uh, nice figure here, and it's talking about salary. So the function giving salary s in thousands as a function of time uh, t in years uh, since being hired is shown in the figure. Since the rate of change increases with time, the slope of the graph increases as t increases. So we can see if we just picked out some points on this graph, you know, here and here, and thought about the rate of change, the slope over time, it is increasing. It's an increasing function. The slope is positive. And that's great for calculus when we talk about, oh, well, I have this function that's increasing. What do we say about the slope? The slope's increasing. So think about it. If this is what we call a position function, and it's an increasing function, the first derivative is increasing. So there's a little calc for you. Does the graph seem to be going concave up or concave down? Well, the graph is going concave up, and if I poured liquid into it, it would hold. It's a wide glass. So our first part here, uh, the function is, this is concave up. That's all it's asking. Can we identify it's concave up? At what time in t in years is the salary at a larger increase uh, or the curve is more steep? So that's a steeper slope. So we have this little slope here. And if I take a couple more points here, you can see that that slope is steeper than this one. And you could also try here just a couple different spots there. So that's the steepest um, slope that we have. And that's going to occur between 30 and 40 years. So that is the most, the graph is the most steep, okay, in, in years. So the increase in salary is the greatest over those years. And when it has a, the smallest increase, um, so if we look down here um, from the bottom, we could look at probably zero, um, zero to 10 years uh, would be pretty low, um, but it doesn't have data. So we're looking at 10 probably to 20 years uh, at a smaller increase or a curve less steep. So the curve is less steep. It's not asking for the smallest. It's a smaller increase, so there's multiple options here, but we could do from uh, 10 years to 20 years because that's kind of just given here. We just needed a smaller increase right from here to here, a smaller increase than this more st steep portion here. So we have a function that's concave up, and we looked at a couple of different slopes within that function. Okay, there are four types of ways that con concavity can happen, and these are the four. Okay, increasing and decreasing and slope being positive or negative. So that's the, the kind of the matching. You have increasing or decreasing and you have a positive and negative slopes and then those pair up. And so there's four ways you can pair those up. You have this first one here. If we look, your function's increasing over time, but look, it's concave down. If you pour something into it, it's the, the water or whatever is going to flow off the sides. So this is increasing. And it's concave down. So that's the general shape of the curve. That's what it's doing here. They want to give you the four possible shapes of what concavity can look like. Concave up, concave down, increasing and decreasing. You can see here in the next one, our graph is decreasing over time. And it's still, it's still opening downward, right? Opens down. So this is, again, concave down. But this is decreasing. So decreasing and concave down. So we're just seeing if we can recognize the concavity here in this example. In the third example, 
In the fourth example, notice how it's going to concave up. You can pour something into it and it would hold or settle at the bottom. So here, decreasing function. And notice I first identify whether our function's increasing or decreasing, and then the concavity. So decreasing, concave up, and increasing, right, left to right, we're reading increasing, and also concave up. Okay, the last little bit here is just kind of the summary here of concavity. Um, if a function whose rate of change increases and gets steeper or decreases and gets less steep as we move from left to right, the graph is concave up. I might not be able to get concave up. Okay, and it's going downwards. It bends down, or upwards, excuse me, it's going upwards there. My fault. Okay. Secondly, if a function whose rate of change increases and gets less steep or decreases and gets steeper as we move from left to right, then the graph is concave down. Okay. And it opens downward. And we, this is just getting from those pictures on the previous page. I, I would just mostly stick to the pictures. The only thing that is, doesn't have concavity, really, is a line. A function that is a constant rate, a line, rate of change, is a graph that is neither concave up or concave down. So there you have it on concavity. Concavity is based and associated with the steepness of a line, whether it's increasing a slope or decreasing. And remember, there's four ways that concavity is going to happen. Increasing concave up, increasing concave down, decreasing concave up, decreasing concave down. And that's really the summary there. And can you identify uh, what those look like? So remember, if you have any questions or comments, you can type them below. And we'll see you next time.